AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, Llama, Mixtral, and so on, Gemini, they can make the life of a requirements engineer so much more efficient and that in all sorts of different use cases. And today I'm going to show you uh, how you can leverage the help and power of AI when you need to create some visuals. And we're going to start and just uh, look at a couple of different types of visuals that are brought along with me today to show you. We have on the left hand side the typical and classical like memes or, or fake pictures like the Pope uh, in the winter jacket. I think that one has been quite famous for some time. Or we have like artificially created pictures which are like from Einstein etc that you can see below. That is the tools that I think are on the radar of many people like how to create some more or less realistic pictures with AI. Uh, but there's many many more. For example if we want to draw some UML diagrams uh, that we can see here in the middle, uh, like an activity diagram with different swim lanes, or if you want to uh, compile a use case diagram, there are different tools for that. And on the right hand side, what we have is like some visuals, some diagrams to underline your messaging in, for example, slides or in a presentation, in a workshop, in some documentation, etc. And uh, I want to focus today on exactly those. Now, what sort of tools do we have? What sort of AI tools have we got for visual visualization? That's first and foremost, the usual suspects like DALI 3, like Leonardo, Midjourney, Firefly, Stable Diffusion, Flux, and many, many more. What we can see on the right hand side is uh, more um, tools for design, which is, for example, the Copilot uh, that is integrated in PowerPoint already, or beautiful AI to also create some slides. Um, when it comes to diagrams, we can rather use ChatGPT uh, vanilla or there are some custom GPTs around that as well. Or we can use some functionalities on Miro. But today, as I said, I want to um, focus more on infographics and I'm going to show you a tool which is called Napkin AI. It's brand new on the market. It's currently in beta stage. So that also means it's for free and it's going to be developed very soon and fast. And what it can do already today, I'm going to show you in my little live demonstration. So what is Napkin AI all about? Well, you can create various sorts of infogra infographics, as you can see here. How is it done? Very simple. You have some description, you have some text, you paste that on a, on a napkin. That's the sort of drawing canvas uh, called in Napkin AI. Then you generate a visual, then you make it your own by adjusting icons, connectors, colors, etc. And then you can just take it with you. You can export it in a PAG, in an SVG, PDF, and so on, so on. Right, let's start. I'll quickly show you. What have we got? Uh, in one of the last demos that I've shown you, we developed a product vision board for a, an app to reduce uh, food waste in Switzerland. Um, the essence of it, which is the content of the product vision board I have got here on the green box. So this is what I'm going to add. What you can see here is Napkin AI. We create a blank napkin. Now I'll drop the product vision board. And if I hover over here, you can see the little flash, uh, which is the auto spark. And if I click that, it'll enable and generate some suggestions of infographics for me. Uh, now for this one, uh, I've looked at it before, you can see you have various different types of diagrams and I think for this one, this is the one which suits the best. Um, we can choose different designs, different variations. I'll take the, the one here for standard. Uh, and here you can see, uh, for some of you who've seen the last video, you'll know already how the product vision board uh, looked like. Here you can see similar kind of thing. I can adjust everything. I can change the color. I can, for example, here I can see food waste reduction initiative. No, that's not correct. It's an app to reduce food waste. I can quickly correct that and then I'll just mark it all and I can export that and just have a PNG and download that. As simple as that. Let me show you a second example. Let's quickly jump over. In one of my last videos, we also developed an impact map for one of the business call, uh, goals for this app. Now we'll drop that in and see what comes out here. Uh, I've got a description here, impact map for food waste platform. And here again, we 
let it read the text, we'll let it think and come up with specific suggestions. And for example, what we can see here, we can generate a pyramid, which is, if you remember how impact maps work, we look at the, we have a business goal, then we looked at the key actors, we identify the most potential actor, then we look at impacts and behaviors and, and the impact which has the most potential. And then we look at the uh, deliverables. And this way we are able to identify the key deliverables of our app, the key features, which have the highest potential to for us to achieve our business goal. Here, same thing, I can add it and I can edit it and then I can export it. And how that all looks, the result, you can see here on my next slide, we have a product vision board, we have this pyramid, and I also created some sort of roadmap of the three uh, key deliverables that we identified. All right. If you like that, if, it, if you find it helpful, please like and subscribe uh, for more. And let me know in the comments what you think or what if you have some any sort of feedback. Thanks.